Hello and welcome to a long overdue van tour of our 60 square foot home on wheels, Luna. Starting with the captain's chair, Luna is a 2018 144 inch wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter van 2500 with a diesel engine and I'm very grateful to say I got Luna brand new so since then we've put on 148,000 kilometers worth of pure travel and adventure all around Canada, the States and now Mexico. So we didn't do a whole lot of modifications to the front of the cab, but our van did come with this bench seat, which is a little bit different than the swivel seat you see in most van builds. We do love it for the amount of storage that we have with it. So underneath the seat, we usually keep extra jerry cans of diesel, deaf fluid, our leveling blocks, and just kind of anything that you want access to, but not all the time. Behind the driver's seat, we have our front closet, which I love. We've got a couple hooks there so we can hang all of like our sweaters and jackets. And then actually behind the seats, we store our outdoor mat, our yoga mats, extra shoes, our window covers, and just kind of things like that. I almost forgot to show you guys Mowgli's favorite part of the whole van. <laughs> Under here is where we keep all of his toys, so every single time we open the door, he just gets so excited. All right, I think it's time to head inside. But first, Dane and I do post weekly videos to our YouTube channel every Sunday, all about this lifestyle and various forms of travel and adventure, so if you wanna hit that subscribe button, we would absolutely love it. But anyway, shoe storage. My shoes, Dane's shoes, absolutely love having a spot for all of our shoes. And down here, we also keep things like our tripod, broom, and just kind of other little cleaning supplies. Also, whenever I say self-converted, I fully mean with all the help in the world from my friends Nicola and Mitch, as well as my dad. Could not have done any of this build without them. And with that, let's show you the kitchen. I could not be happier with how the kitchen turned out. We've got a beautiful deep sink here with a movable faucet, all the counter space for chopping, and then we've got our Webasto diesel cooktop, which runs off of diesel, is connected to the diesel tank in our van, and it's honestly so nice not to have to worry about propane. Up here is where we keep all of our kitchen stuff that we want access to all the time. So we've got all of our bowls, coffee mugs, all that kind of stuff. And then we've got plates and cutting boards here. And down at this end, we've got any sauces, oils, teas, just anything that we use often in the kitchen. Can't forget our little magnetic knife rack, which holds everything in place on all the bumpy roads and is just such a nice addition to the van. Down here, we have our 65 liter Dometic fridge. It runs on 12 volt, is super energy efficient, and I honestly love it so much. It also has this little built-in freezer so we can make our own ice cubes. <laughs> Out here, we also have these nice spice magnetic spice jars. These things are honestly the best. We've had these for about five years now and they've stayed true on all the bumpy roads. And if you like these or any other items that you see in the van, you can check them out on our Amazon storefront. <laughs> Up next we have these beautiful custom built drawers. The top drawer holds all of our utensils. The middle drawer contains a lot of different pantry goods. And this bottom drawer here holds all of our pots, uh, containers, our kettle, magic bullet, kind of all the kitchen appliances that we have in the van. Quite a bit of kitchen stuff does transfer to our upper storage area as well, so 
lots of room up there, pretty much anything that we want in the van and just want to have out of the way all ends up right up here. Ooh, cannot forget about these jars. I found the idea on Pinterest and I absolutely love it. So the top four uh, jars we use for drinking glasses and then the bottom six hold different nuts and seeds and things like that. A must have for living in a van in Canada is obviously some sort of heating system and we have the Wabasto diesel heater just under the drawers here. It's allowed us to take ski trips all over British Columbia and Alberta. We even went up to the Yukon and hit negative 30 degrees Celsius and the whole time we were nice warm and cozy in the van here. We have a 12 volt fantastic fan in the roof. It's got three different speeds. It is a must when you're cooking, gets all the humidity out, and when it's a super hot summer night, cools down the van. Up in this cubby is where we keep all of our toiletries. So we've got our toothbrushes, lotions, and I also love having this set mirror here as well for when I'm getting ready. So underneath our sink is our water system. We have 21 gallons of fresh water, which is fed in through the outside of the van. And we have a seven gallon gray water tank here. We also kind of use this just as a storage area. So we got an almond cow, an extra big pot, Mowgli's food. But the most important thing under here is our pea funnel. It's absolutely mandatory to have a pea funnel. That way you don't have to get outside of the van in the middle of the night when it's all cold if you gotta go. Absolutely cannot forget mentioning my wine rack. This is something that Mitch actually surprised me with in the build and it is just my favorite thing ever. Well, we're down here, show you this one, which is basically uh, where we keep our garbage, a little bit of TP, a bit more storage for things like garbage bags, cleaning supplies, yeah. So something that I've added to the van since moving in is I've upgraded the electrical system. We did have a couple of AGM batteries before, but uh, those eventually died on us. And so just before this trip down to Baja, we put in 200 amp hours of lithium ion batteries. So you just gotta lift it here. Hit that. It's designed so it doesn't rattle. And this whole system just opens up here like that so you have easy access. We have our 200 amp hour lithium ion batteries down here. This is an 1500 watt inverter which powers all our 120 volt electronics like our cameras and our laptops and stuff. Very important you need one of these from switching from a 12 volt system. Over here we got our solar controller which converts the solar into usable power as well. And then we added this guy down here in Mexico. It's shore power, so now we can actually plug into a regular 120 volt plug like you would have at your house, and that charges up our whole system. Our new batteries and solar charge controller are Renogy, and we got these little Bluetooth things that we can plug into them, so we can actually keep track of the whole thing um, from an app on our phone, which is super handy. With this, we have three ways of powering it. We have our shore power, um, we have 200 watts of solar panels on the roof here and we can actually charge while we're driving as well through our alternator. Welcome to our living space. So one of the main reasons that I went with Eamon and Bex Leo back in the day is because I loved the idea of having both couch mode as well as bed mode, which we'll show you in a little bit. So when this space is in couch mode, it can be our living room, our dining room, even an office. Over here we have this fold down table that my coach made me back in the day. So you just stick this peg into the couch here and it folds down all nice. And there you go, you can eat your dinner here, get some work done, all the things, and it's just super nice and comfortable. Under here we also have extra storage. This is really only accessible when the bed is in couch mode, so we mostly just put things under here that we don't actually need every day. This is where we keep all of our clothes, so we have Dane's side of the closet and my side of the closet. This little bookshelf is such a fun little feature as well. Um, up here it's turned into Dane's kind of nightstand area, and then this shelf just holds a few of my favorite books. 
and just down below we have a little diffuser with this blend bar so it just makes it really like nice and homey in here. All right let's get into bed mode. Welcome to bed mode. This is actually the mode that we are in the most ever since getting Mowgli we actually just have never folded the bed back up because we did put his uh, crate underneath the bed which I'll show you in a moment but all of these three cubbies do also become easily accessible when we are in bed mode. So back here, this is our laundry chute. And then this middle cubby is honestly just extra storage. And then this is my favorite little area. It's my little nightstand. <laughs> All right, let's show you the kids' home. Down here is where we built Mowgli's crate. It used to have a little door here when he was super puppy, but now he's definitely outgrown it, but he just loves it under there so much that we've kept his bed there and it's his cozy little corner of the van. Follow me around back, we'll check out our garage. As Joe said, we pretty much always keep it in bed mode these days because we have Mowgli's crate bed area underneath in the front, but that gives us some extra storage in the back here. That's where we keep our paddle board, our chairs, extension cables, some extra food for him, really just miscellaneous things that take up a bunch of space and you need somewhere to put them. On the other side of the garage area, on the other side of the garage area here, we have a big drawer and we got a couple bins in here. This is more extra storage. It's mostly filled with kind of our winter clothes at the moment. We keep our hose in here to fill up water, extra blankets, rain jackets, whatever we feel like. All right, the final part of the tour, let's head on up to the roof. I have to point out our stoked ladder. We got this in Squamish a couple years ago the best addition to the van. Don't know how I went so long without it, but it is really helpful when it comes to like shoveling snow off the solar panels or just cleaning the solar panels, just really getting up there. It's honestly so good. This is our DIY solar shower. The water heats up from the sun and works really great in warm climates such as Baja. And then behind me here we have 200 watts of solar. Five years ago this seemed like a whole lot. Nowadays I wish we had more so that'll probably be an upgrade we do in the near future. And then behind me here is a Wii Boost as well. So it's a cell phone booster kind of allows us to connect cell service when we're off grid if we need to. Wow, sit. 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 Yeah, yes. that's a good boy. <laughs> so that just about sums up our van tour. I seriously cannot believe it's taken me five years to film this, but we're so happy to finally get to share our little home with all of you guys. If you like the video and want to follow us along on some of our adventures, we have a whole Baja series out on our <laughs> channel, so go back and check that out. And uh, We love you, we appreciate you, and, and see we'll see you in the, in the next, next one. one. <laughs>